What? It doesn't look good. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Prada, and I still don't have an intro, so yes, this is the intro. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a big like. It helps me out a lot. I appreciate it so much, and let's get into today's video. Okay, so the only thing keeping me sane during this time, this insane time in the world, is stuff around the house. Uh, so I'm basically going through and finishing all the rooms that we never really designed or put furniture in. I have about like five or six spaces, like there's a patio, our master bedroom, living room, nook, and I think that's it. I might do our bathroom too. Um, but I'm just trying to really get into the groove of designing again. Um, it makes me really happy, it keeps my mind off things. We have a lot of stuff going on in our life right now uh, that is just like stressful as is everyone else. But today I'm at the landscaping depot and I'm gonna be picking up some flowers. I want some lavender, maybe some more roses to put in the backyard. And I want some inside plants. I'm really looking for some ficus trees that I used in the front room. I actually didn't record the front room redoing it, but I'll pop up a little picture right here. Um, those are amazing. I only water them once a week. I do like a gallon once a week and they're awesome. I None of the leaves fall, it's amazing. I've had so much good luck with these ficuses. Um, so let's go and social distance in the landscaping depot. Wow, this is the most masked I've ever been. All right, so this is the guy that I have in the front room. It is a beautiful ficus that's probably six feet tall. Those are so stunning and they just do so well in our house. So I'm gonna get one of those. These are fiddle leaf figs, I love these. I have pretty good luck with them, but they're actually kind of hard to maintain. Um, they're really expensive, you guys can see this price point. That's insane, you can get these on Etsy for much cheaper and downtown LA at the flower market. I would never pay that much for that. Um, here's another ficus that's really beautiful. This has just the plain green leaves. That's really pretty as well. And then just some more varieties over here. Okay, this is a bit taller than I thought it was. It's like uh, seven feet, but we have some Shasta daisies for outside in the front yard. I love these, they're perennial. And basically, this is a big, bunch of them, but I'm gonna cut them up. I'm gonna quarter them, so this will actually be four plants. This will be another four plants, so it'll be eight, and I'll spread those around the yard. Um, here I have some raspberries, um, some blackberries, a bunch of blueberries, because they're my favorite. I have a butterfly bush, which is so pretty, and this attracts hummingbirds, butterflies, and I have some cone flowers over here, which also attracts hummingbirds. So I'm gonna get home to, oh, I also got this. I hate that I'm so excited about this. It's a, like a Tempur-Pedic memory foam kneeler thingy. Kneelo. So when I'm gardening, my knees won't hurt because they're starting to crack. They have underestimated the size of the plants because I can't see out of my car and this is quite dangerous, but the car is stocked and I am excited to plant. If you guys don't know, I actually had a landscaping company with my older brothers when I was in high school, up until college. I actually started gardening when I was like six years old for my neighbor, Mrs. Goldbaum. She would pay me literally like $6 an hour. Cheap bitch, but she was amazing and wonderful. Um, $6 an hour to like weed, and then I really got into the architecture of planting and like what plants went well in what areas, because on the East Coast where I'm from, I'm from Boston, north of Boston, you gotta switch out plants seasonally, because we have obviously so many different seasons. So that's what I kind of do here. I have an English garden, which is just like full of different plants. Some flower for a little bit, and then I have to put in new ones and then cut the old ones down so they come up next year. But you never want to plant in the middle of the day. Um, right now it's 91 degrees outside. This is the worst time possible you could plant. Never plant in high heat and never water in high heat. If you water in high heat, it'll boil the roots of the plant and it'll actually kill the plant. You always want to plant and water at night or like when the sun sets, like anytime 6, 7 p.m. on during the summer. So I'm gonna wait a little bit, I'm going home. Joey and I are doing some tie-dye, plus we're giving each other haircuts. It's just a little trim. I don't really trust him with some shears, but this is getting unruly and my sideburns are a mess, so we're gonna do that. So I just watered my raised planters a little extra uh, because they have the in-ground watering system, but it doesn't do much. It waters every other day. The squash and cucumbers are growing. These are radishes, carrots, celery. Lettuce looks beautiful and so healthy. The a dog got in here because I found this bone and this is Moon. So I know he was, it was just there. So I know he climbed up in here. You can see the little paw prints. Oregano, I planted some more basil because the other basil died. That usually happens sometimes. It's really finicky. 
and then we have Brussels sprouts, rosemary, parsley, and then over here we have the eggplants, peppers, and then a bunch of tomato plants, which are already growing wild. With tomato plants, you can actually trim them, so anything that's kind of growing sideways, you can just snip right off and then tie them up. I'm so proud. Beauties. Again, more paw prints. I wonder who jumped up here. Um, so in this bed, I planted the blueberries and the raspberries. We'll see how they do, because these, these grow on the East Coast. So I don't know how they'll do in this really hot weather. If you guys know, please comment down below. Yeah, they are in and hopefully we'll check in in a couple weeks and see how they're doing. This one already has actual blueberries. Let's give this one a taste. Wow, it's really good. It's really sweet. These aren't like wild main blueberries. They're just, what are they called? Bountiful blue. Oh my gosh make a really good blueberry pie or in a smoothie or just as a snack or sometimes I freeze them and I freeze grapes too and it's such a good little dessert and then we have our potted orange trees here all around the pool uh, we have two over there and then one over here We've got some power washing going on and these are my favorite plants I showed you guys before I put these here these are called Elysium I think and they come in the purple the white and then the mixed color is like somewhere over there but they're so pretty and they're gonna like cascade over here you just have to make sure to water them but not too much because orange trees don't like too too much water hey guys we are back in the car we got storm in the back why do i look like i'm about to go on survivor right now or the amazing race should i be on the amazing race i feel like i should i feel like i do really good on it but anyways back in the car i decided classic sagittarius oh why don't you break a little further away from the light, ma'am. Uh, I've been dying to go on a good hike and I wanted to go somewhere where I know no one will be. So I drove two hours out of LA, well, like an hour and 45 minutes um, out in Apple Valley in San Bernardino Mountains. I guess there's this beautiful hot spring slash waterfall moment hike that my friend went on recently. And I, I love hiking and loved hiking since I was a kid. I went for a run at 6 a.m. and I brought my clippers with me because when I was a kid, <laughs> I'm not condoning this behavior, but I would steal flowers from my neighbors, like because they would always have the prettiest flowers. So I'd go early in the morning and sniff them and give them to my teachers. But I went out and snipped a few roses, not from my regular neighbors, but from, there's a few houses around us that are being torn down and nobody lives there. So they have a bunch of beautiful rose bushes. And I just snipped a few, brought them over to my friend who's been having a rough couple of days just because I was thinking of them and wanted to make their day a little brighter. If you guys have anyone like that in your life, reach out to them. I know it's easy to write a text, but a phone call, maybe a little note, a little bouquet of flowers, it really goes a long way. I feel like nobody does that anymore. I've been doing that for a long time and I just think it's so heartfelt. Nobody does it for me, except my boyfriend occasionally. Um, but I don't know, I, I love those little acts of kindness. They're really meaningful and they just go a long way. So if you know anyone who's having a hard day, reach out to them, Give, send them a little something. It doesn't have to be a lot. You can go pick them outside, pick some weeds, pick some poison ivy, give them a little rash, but I'll see you guys on the hike, all right? When we look at my ears right now, why do I look like an actual elf? Buddy the elf here, what's your favorite color? but like also gorgeous. Okay, I'm putting this camera down. I am so stupid. I should have looked out on map. I'm basically in Big Bear, which is Lake Arrowhead, which is two hours away from LA. I love it. I haven't been back here in a minute. Always look at the map and see where you're actually going. Storm, are you excited? Sis. So I have my drone. I have my camel pack. If you guys don't know what that is, you can put it in any backpack, but it's basically hoses attached and there's a bladder in here. It looks like that and you fill it with water. This is a three liter one I got at REI. And then I also put some lemon wedges in there just to keep it refreshing. And I mean, how that basically screams that I'm getting lemon wedges in your hiking water. 
This is by Revive. Cherry hibiscus, sparkling kombucha, 20 calories per can, caffeine free, organic. Five billion live probiotics. I don't really know a lot about probiotics, but I know that they make my stomach feel really good and keep, let's see what's actually in here. Kombucha culture, organic hibiscus, organic cane sugar, really? Five grams, I don't even taste it. Lemon juice, organic apple, cherry concentrate, apple cider vinegar, probiotic, bacillus subtilis. Anyways, it's really good, I like it. It makes me feel like I'm drinking soda, but it's actually not, and it's healthy. Got my hat for protection, bandana for protection, drone. Whoa! This charge, I'm gonna be so pissed. Please, bitch. She's fully charged. Put a little chapstick on. Someone's watching me like, bitch, hurry up. I love fresh products. I'm using their new, this is their newest flavor, Blood Orange Lip Balm. It has a little tint, as you can see, but it's barely there. It just keeps me hydrated all day long. I hate lip balms that are good for like two seconds and then stop working, it's so annoying. A little hand sanitizer. And I always hike with these in case I get gross. A body wipe, I got these on Amazon. You can literally wash your entire body with it. And I have a little battery, external battery source just in case. Also, I almost forgot sunscreen. You guys, this is my favorite. It is the Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc from First Aid Beauty. I love it because it has a little tint in it. You guys see that? But if you're tan, it won't leave that residue on your face. Yeah, you can't really see anything. Um, and then I also use this one by Tatcha. It's a little more expensive. I like the First Aid Beauty one a little more, but this is great for like shoulders, neck, the rest of your body. Anyways. All right, let's get on with the hike. You ready, buddy? He's excited. You guys, I also have my mask. Don't come for me. Joey couldn't come because he's on a medication that like really wears him out to kill this bacteria he has in his stomach. Plus, it is so bright out. He would roast out here. How cute are my hiking boots? I got these from Urban. They're by Adidas. Adidas didn't have them on the website, so I checked Urban, and they had this colorway, and they're so cute. I also got Joey a matching pair i'll link them down below if you guys are avid hikers but they're really really good for a little moderate hiking i don't think intermediate but they're pretty good but are you excited don't not yet not yet no don't 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 take your damn trash with you please not cute i let him off leash for a second to see what he's gonna do go get the water go on go get a drink hey stormy There he goes. See, he actually likes the water. How's it feel, bud? He thinks it's an animal. He's so smart. He is trying to get that rock that I threw. You're smarter than you look. Come on, let's go. All right, I'll leave you off leash for a little bit, but if we see one rattlesnake, you're coming back. All right, 10 out of 10, do not recommend this hike. This is what it's been. It's been downhill this entire time. I can barely feel my toes. You know when Storm is tired, it's real. I just gave him some water. He's chill. We have about another half an hour to go, buddy. This is insane, I'm gonna die on the way up. These are not for strictly downhill. They don't have spikes or anything. So I've been having to like sidestep. It's like, this is composite granite. It's like basically stepping downwards into sand. I feel like I'm gonna break my cankles every two seconds. You're over this bullshit, huh? You guys, he hikes with me all the time for like two, three hours at a time, but he's exhausted already. Storm, we made it. This is the beginning of it. Look at all that water down there. I don't want to swim in hot. Somebody said hot springs, but I'm not trying to swim in hot. And this place used to be nudist in the 70s, so I might just have to pull down my pants. Don't worry, I'll blur everything out. Oh my God, you guys, I'm shook. So I'm walking by and there's this new couple. Obviously, I'm not going to pan the camera, but how gorgeous is that just to be living your best life with your boyfriend or girlfriend, tits out, ass out for the boys. That is goals, honestly. I would do it 100%. I ain't scared. You wanna see my ass? Take a picture to last longer. Wow, oh, guys, how cool is this? So this is the hot spring, and then there you can go swimming. What do you think, buddy? Should we go swim? Look how stunning she is, emerald green. 
Alright, I think we have found our spot. Look how stunning. Wow. You wanna go in? You wanna go get it. Bitch! <laughs> Since when do you swim? Oh my god. I'm on the trail back and look at this. Gorgeous, stunning. Talented, brilliant, incredible, Lizard. amazing, show-stopping, exactly spectacular, the the never the same, totally unique. Nice oh, oh, bitch. Good riddance. You guys, he did so good. We made it back. We're alive. guys it's the next day yesterday it was so much fun i'm exhausted storm is dead tired but i thought i would do a little tie-dye action i actually have this old um college t-shirt that i cut into a tank top a while ago but it got hit by some bleach right here so i was thinking i would bleach it out and see how it turns out putting on my gloves to protect my stunning beautiful hands and i have a spray bottle filled with half bleach and half water, you don't need a lot because this already clearly was hit by some bleach. And I have my last band. So I'm gonna go start in the middle, right where the N is, and just twist this girl. Like a little cinnamon bun. Ooh, could eat a cinnamon bun right now. All right, let's see how this turns out. And then I'm gonna turn her over and do the same to the other side. Just a little, I feel like this is cool to spritz. Be quiet. All right, we're gonna let that sit. I'm gonna pop this in the washer and I'll show it to you guys in a little bit. All right, in the meantime, do you wanna give me a haircut? What? Do you wanna cut my hair? I'm scared, no. Why? You Did wouldn't let me cut anything? your hair? Yeah, we have a trimmer. Or maybe let just a trim, just trim the back. I am, a, I am actually a hairdresser. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Really? Let me see the back of your head. It's bad. Oh yeah. Mine is really bad too, so I think we need to give each other trim jobs. You wanna give me a trim job, daddy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. And this is the finished product. She's cute. She's reborn. I still need to wash her and dry her, so I think it'll get even lighter, but it's really cute. All right. You ready? Yes, we're just doing the back. Stop. No, just, just clean up the neck. You know how to do that. Do I? Stop, please, please. Oh, How's it look? That's easy. Yeah? All right, I'll do you after two. Wow, you guys, I can't believe I'm not gonna regret this. He's doing a great, don't go straight across in the back. Please, follow the natural hairline. I'm just doing the sides. 
a hairline fracture and get the back of my neck. The nape. Naples. Oh my god, I am a hairdresser. Wow. Thank you. Beauty Deborah. school dropout. How does it look? Good. I feel like you need no, 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 no. Oh, there's just a little thing right there. No, no, I'll, I'll do the sidewards after, it's fine. I know, but there's a little hair right there that okay. doesn't look good. Get one. Stop! What'd you. Is that my sideburn? Oh, God. Joey, what is that? <laughs> Nothing, it's fine. <laughs> oh. Yeah. My God. You caught. You did, what did you do? <laughs> Nothing. He did it like, uh, I don't want to say. Make it better. Does it look bad? Yeah, it looks like you're <laughs> Mom, you can't say that, I'm recording. Okay, stop it. At least like level it off and make it look cool. Don't maybe do should, more. Maybe I should do it higher. What? <laughs> it doesn't look good. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Gentle. Show me the back. Does it look good? Yes. Get away from me. <laughs> also, a little update on the whole wolf slash bone situation. Um, I actually found a product online for the bully stick. Let me show you in case any of you guys have the same problem with any of your pets that swallow treats very quickly. I know I told you guys in the last video to not use them anymore, but if you get this, seriously, it's a godsend. So I found one by Bow Wow Labs. I got it on Amazon. You basically put the bully stick through here. Um, you guys can see and it has a clamp and then you twist it and then it keeps it really tight in there And it comes with three packages of bully sticks And then I also found this one by Benabone, which is a bigger brand But it holds it in there, but like a big dog could definitely take it out. So I think I'm gonna return those um, Storm's already been using it kind of yeah, so this is what it looks like they can carry it around But yeah great alternative to keep your pet safe but that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave this video a big like, comment down below, and make sure you subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. These are amazing.